Girl Scouts. I'm Carrie. Today I'm going to show you how to do a room makeover using what you already have, using some things you find around the house that are not currently being used, maybe a couple of inexpensive purchases, and a whole lot of creativity. I don't know about you, but the room that I spend a lot of time in needs to really feel like it's me. Right now we're all spending a lot of time at home and you're probably spending more time in your bedroom than you usually do. What better time to reimagine your space? Behind me is a room that I use to work, for studying, never stop learning, to read, to watch shows, yoga, meditate. It's a very multi-purpose room. Right now, it's functional, but it doesn't look very exciting, and I want to do something about that. All right, if you've never thought about doing a room makeover before, the first thing you might want to do is get some ideas. You can look on magazines, you can look online, maybe even get some ideas from TV shows you watch. Stop and think about, are there colors that really make you feel happy and good about yourself? What about textures and finishes? Do you like shiny, smooth? Do you like a little bit of furry and soft? So once you've spent some time thinking about what you like, you're ready to start actually creating a plan. First, we start with inventory. What do you already have that you can work with? In my room, I've got a futon I can use. It's got a really cool black and white cover. I've got a desk and a chair to use. I've got another small desk, and yeah, I don't need it really. So I have basics, but it's not very exciting. Next, think about what you need this, the space for. For working, for studying, for reading. It's your stress-free zone. All right, the next thing you wanna do is think about the things you have that maybe you don't need that you'd like to get rid of. Think about any obstacles that you have to work with. And then what do you want to add to the space to really make it your own? Um, I, you know, I look around the space and I'd like to have a little table here next to me, something I could set my coffee on while I'm reading. Love to have a couple of chairs over here so that when I have friends over, there's a place to sit back when we're able to have friends over and everything. So I really have most of the stuff I need. What I really, really want in here is color and fun. That's what I'm looking for. So once you have your inventory and you know what your needs are, what you're looking for, you're ready to get started. Now remember, before you get started when you're doing your own room makeover project, take a before picture so you can compare it to after. I took my before picture and showed it to you earlier and I'm going to show you what it looks like when we're all done here. And the treasure hunt begins. Oh, I see a plant. Let's take a look. Yeah, we could do that. That could work. I see a leopard print pillow. I like that. Couple of chairs. Definitely want a chair for the space. Oh, and look at this footstool. Not really being used and it's furry. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay, so definitely some possibilities here. Let's keep going. Ah, this I really like. Round rug, beautiful pink color. That would add a great pop of color. I'm gonna take that, that's a definite. Okay, so now all these cool things that I found, I know that they don't have another specific use for them. They don't have to stay right where they are. But when you find your treasures, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you ask an adult before you take something that is not yours. Now, when you're out looking for your treasures, Take your time. You're not gonna do this all in 15 minutes. Maybe you spend a few days looking around, even asking people for some other ideas. You may need to make a small purchase to take one of your treasures and make it into something. Maybe you're creating something from scratch. Just take your time, think it through. Now you wanna think about what tools you might need to make your ideas work and start gathering those. Things like picture hanging hooks, maybe double-sided tape to stick two things together, paint, and so on. Remember, don't forget to ask an adult before you use paint or any tools. Then take a look at the things you've gathered. Start making some decisions. 
What do you want to keep? What do you maybe want to set aside? Don't get rid of those things right now because you might come back to them later. All right, I've made all of my decisions. I'm ready to start on installation now. All right, now I'm ready to start my installation. I'm gonna start with this cool wall hanging that I have, and I'm using this very inexpensive tension rod. I'm gonna put it up here. All I have to do is fit this thing in. It actually expands for as big a space as you need. You just expand it with a little bit of pressure, and I can hang it. This is usually used in windows for lightweight curtains and so on, but it works perfectly. And now I have some really nice color right above the couch. All right, what should we do next? Got this very cool scarf. I have lots of them. Sometimes I just need to use them for decorating. And this really interesting wood ladder looking thing that I've had forever. But I'm gonna use it to add some color to the room. So I'm just gonna drape this over the top here. It's wood, so the fabric kind of catches on there thread it through. So I've still got the ladder look that for some reason I just really like, but now I've got some color added to it. There we go, and it takes up a nice lot of space on the wall. All right, next I wanna go ahead and create a table. And I have this round container. I think it was initially meant for umbrellas. We're gonna use it. I'm gonna put it over here in this corner Set this round wooden piece that I have left over from another project right there on top of a nice flat surface. And then I've got this pretty piece of fabric, probably another scarf. I'm just gonna drape it over the top. And now I have a table, a place that I can set my coffee mug. And because this container down here, you can put stuff in there, it's actually storage. Probably for my thin mints, but shh, don't tell. All right, so I've moved all the pieces into place and I'm ready to show you what it looks like. Come on in. Okay, well I kept it really simple with the futon. The pillows that were already there and the blanket just rolled it up for a nice neat look. I added a couple of pictures to the wall. I picked those for the colors they had. They were hanging elsewhere. And then took this rug that was laying down, not really adding much to the space, but in here it gives some much needed color. And then of course, we've got the round rug in a nice dark pink color. Love that rug. Got a plant, some greenery in the room. Chair that was, um, dining chair that had not really been used every day, the leopard print pillow. And then a nice little table that I can store things on. And that is my simple room makeover. So I hope this has given you some ideas that you can use to do your own room makeover. Let your creativity run wild. Experiment. Try something out. Give it a few days. If you don't like it, try something new. Just create a space that looks and feels right to you. And if you're a senior, trying some of the tips and tricks we, we showed here today can be applied towards your room makeover badge. If you're participating in the Girl Scouts Stay at Home program, many of the tips we saw today could actually contribute towards the Create Your Stress-Free Zone, um, one of the activities that goes towards the Stay at Home patch. So anyway, if you decide to do your own room makeover, send us before and after pictures. I'd love to see what you come up with. All right, have a great day, bye.